Sa Alafa Coconut TV, I am Ariana Princess Albaa from the villages of Malay Loa and Tonaitua in Tutuila, uh, Palalupo in Savai and Bawala from uh, Polu. I am of Samoan, Polish, and Portuguese descent. I am currently serving in the United States Army, serving as a 92 Whiskey, which is a water purification specialist. But as of now, I am now working for the Division Protocol Office in our, in our post as the Voice of the Marne. The Voice of the Marne is a position held within Fort Stewart, basically I'm like the narrator or MC of all the ceremonies that happen here on both our posts, um, Fort Stewart and the Hunter Army Air Force Field. Um, it was a lot of things that led for me, that led me to come here. One, it was something I always wanted to do, but I was always scared when I was younger because I didn't know about the field. It wasn't until I turned 30 that I said, you know, I'm getting too old and I might not be able to have the chance to do it. So I finally just said, you know what, I need to do it. And I just went ahead and did it. And there's a lot of reasons. One of the main reasons was to, for me to open more doors for the LGBT and Fafafina community of both Samoas that were not limited to just one thing that we find normal, either becoming teachers or, you know, just staying on the rock. A lot of my other Fafafine and LGBT brothers and sisters wanted to join the army, but a lot of um, just lack courage, just like I did. So I thought, why don't I be that person and be the, the barrier breaker for, for all of us? Well, I, I lived my life um, prior to the army as a Fafafine or trans woman, but I had when I joined the army, I had to uh, rekindle back and or retransition and join as a man, as a male. So you know, I figured I, my, I've already made up my mind, and I might as well just go ahead and do it. If I don't do it, I will always be dissatisfied. So when I got to basic training, and they literally cut all my hair off, I was bald, <laughs> you know? And um, when I, as soon as I was in, they broke, they let go of laws and let us trans people serve openly as trans. So I started my, my paperwork and transitioned all over again to be me, to be princess. And now I'm legally female in all of my documentation. I am serving as a trans woman as a proud Samoan Fafafina and as a proud Samoan trans woman in the army. Um, mentally, you have to prep yourself and I was grateful to have all the support of my family, support of my friends and my, and all of my Fafafina brothers and sisters in the, um, around the world. And then in the army, I had a big support of my unit, my commanders, my battle buddies, especially my parents and all of my mentors. Um, as of right now, I am the only Samoan Fafafine that's serving openly that I know of, but I do have another, another sister of mine. Um, her name is Mimi Jamil. Um, from from Chile and Hong Kong, that's also serving right now in Fort Stewart, undergoing a transition as well. When I got my paperwork and I got the um, and I got the approval that I am now female in the army, I was ecstatic. Um, the first thing I did was I sent out my prayers and I you know I kept continuously thanking God because. I feel like he guided me throughout this journey and he's been my light and everything, you know, every moment I, I keep saying God led me here, God brought me to this station, introduced me to these people, you know, I was first and foremost grateful and thankful and then second I was just gleaming happy, you know, I got, I'm now living my truth and serving as me and here I am. The best advice that I can give as a person um, 
regardless of the gender identity or sexual orientation, but from one human and one person to another, is that be yourself. Life will always throw you many curveballs and take you through many obstacles, but you will come out as you in the end. Throughout the journey, the journey will build you, the journey will give you an experience of a lifetime, and the journey will teach you how to live life to the fullest. And remember to always keep it cocoa. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.